Hi, this is Method Porter here. So today, I'm, this video is going to be about what do I want if there's ever a sequel to the Godzilla 2014 film coming up on May 16, 2014. So, um, yeah. So, um, we never thought there would be a sequel, but one day, um, I forgot the day, Gareth Edwards said if, um, if Godzilla 2014 does well, like, on its budget, and, uh, yeah, on the money that it makes, that means, um, he's planning to do a sequel. So, yeah, that's pretty interesting. And he actually said, um, he, he the sequel is going to be kind of like the, kind of like Destroy All Monsters sequel. Like, it's going to have a month. He wants to, um, try and experiment with the Monster Island. So, yeah, there might be a Monster Island, actually, in the sequel. So, um, yeah, I just... You know, that was just a little bit of information um, right there about, you know, how the sequel and, you know, rumors about the Godzilla 2014 um, sequel was going to, you know, happen and all that stuff. So, um, anyways, now this video, since all that happened, I'm going to talk about, you know, as I said, what do I want in the sequel? Okay, so, uh, first of all, first of all, I'm going to talk about, um, well, you know, whenever there's like a famous movie or something, they always put something on the end credits for like and things like it's a sequel. Like for example, Pacific Rim has something in the credits which was um, Ron Perlman or as a character in a movie called um, Hannibal Chow got um, um, cut open a um, Otachi's um, baby Otachi's um, stomach and then he came out and then say, "Where's my?" Uh, I forgot what he said, and that was a long time ago. But, um, anyways. So, yeah, like, at the end credits. So, what I want in the end credits of Godzilla 2014. Okay, so, this is what's gonna happen. Uh, let's see. Okay, so this is what's gonna happen. This is if Godzilla does not die, okay? So, if Godzilla does not die, that means this is what will happen. So, first of all, you know, Godzilla has been destroying the city and, you know, all that stuff. And then... That's when, um, that's when he returns back to his, um, place. And then that's when, um, I don't know, maybe, like, the military or maybe the, uh, maybe the military, um, is there. And then he's going back home. And then that's when, um, yeah, the military follows him. And then that's when they reach this unknown island, which is, you know, Monster Island. And then, and then once he gets there... That means they hear like a, a roar or something, and then that's when um, and then that's when you know a, there's like a giant earthquake or something, and then that's when a mysterious foot out of nowhere just stomps in, and then Godzilla is like is ready to charge up his beam, and then that's when like you know the um, actually instead of the military, let it be just a um news reporter helicopter so anyways the news reporter helicopter was you know following Godzilla and all that stuff and then that's when they actually saw the monster but the camera doesn't show the monster it only shows the foot and then that's when they zoom in on the man's face and you're like oh my god and then and then you know that's when you know the Godzilla theme and that's the end for the credits so yeah that'll be that's my that's how I would do it if I was a director or something for the end credits that's what that would be my my idea for the credit scene for Godzilla 2014. So, anyways, now I'm uh, literally gonna talk about um, what I want in it, one monsters, and you know, story. So, first of all, the monsters. So, if I actually have to pick any like monsters, I'll pick King Adora, um, and Gyrus. Rodan, I don't feel for Rodan. Um, let's see, Baragon, I want Baragon to come back again. Uh, Varen. This time, yeah, Varen. And, uh, let's see. Maybe Mothra, maybe? And one more. Just one more. Godzilla's son, I'm so sorry, but no, that's not, I don't like that. Maybe, um, maybe Kamakris, maybe? Because, you know, um, Kamonga had, um, Kamonga was in, um, Destroyer Monsters. So maybe this time it can be Kamakris. So, you know. And also, they can also put, um, darn, I just forgot right now. Who was that again? Um, darn it. Darn, I forgot right now, but 
those will be the good ones. And also Gigan. But uh, maybe they might put Toho monsters in it. Or they can just make their own. Like if I made my own monster or the seeker or whatever. What I would do is kinda of like and okay, so I'll just it's kinda of like in Gyrus, so just taking Gyrus. Um, so except make it a little bit more like taller or more skinnier. And instead the back is like it has a shell. It has a a um a feathery tail with some like spikes on the side and then the face is also kind of armored like it has a, a tiny shell on its uh, forehead more like a mutated armadillo that's what I'm trying to say kind of like a mutated armadillo if I made my own monster so um, yes one of the monsters I actually want if I created the monster for the sequel then it will be that that would be kind of a homage for um um and Gyrus. But yeah, except it's a giant mutated um, armadillo. So yeah, pretty interesting. I'm not sure if they're going to literally try to do like the short monsters where, you know, there's some aliens that come and then that's when, you know, they take over all the monsters and all that stuff. I'm not sure. I don't think so. Maybe they will, but I don't think so because Godzilla is already an enemy. So, you know, why would they um, control him if he's already an uh, enemy? Well, I guess, I guess Godzilla was destroyed completely everything, but, you know, still. And also, let's see. Yeah, I just really don't think they're going to put aliens because Gareth Edwards does, um, wants to make it realistic because in his quote that he said about the Godzilla, the Godzilla 2014 sequel, he said that he wanted it to be realistic. So aliens, I'm not sure about that. Maybe, like, maybe at least, like, four new monsters or you know whatever monsters just monsters or kaiju whatever that are in the film where Godzilla has to fight them and you know stuff like that and then there's one uh, maybe it's I don't know a mutated uh maybe a mutated crocodile or something and then he has to fight a mutated crocodile and you know I really I really do not know for the monsters but you know maybe but don't just add like one like one monster like no mm -mm. two is alright, but no. Three, that's also alright, but I prefer four monsters, at least. At least for the sequel. I'll prefer maybe like... S Actually, four is fine for me. Maybe that mutated armadillo, maybe a mutated crocodile, like I said. Um, you know, and some other two monsters that are just... I don't know, just... I don't know. But, you know, four monsters at least. So, for the story... So I do not want the story as a story of monsters because, um, you know, Gareth Edwards wants to make it realistic. But I, I also don't want it because, you know, those who are um, not G fans, who are not Godzilla fans, or, you know, part of the kaiju genre, they're just moderates. Um, they're just viewers, just regular viewers. Um, they don't want to, they don't want to think back into the 60s and think it's going to be a, a very awkward movie just like Destroy of Monsters. Or like think that, or judging Godzilla that, you know, oh, he's going to be a nice one in this movie, and he's going to fight some aliens, yay! Well, you know, um, you know, I don't want that either. Even though it sounds cool, but I don't think so. I'm just saying. So, um, yeah, the story, just Godzilla have, um, fighting four monsters, maybe. You know, just four monsters are on his way or something. I, I really don't know for the story, nothing like that. Maybe, um, and for the locations, I want a, a monster island, maybe, like, for, uh, moderate time, and then to the city a tiny bit. Like, the city a little bit, but mostly in monster islands. The main topic, I mean, the main place is monster islands, but maybe, like, before the movie starts, maybe they show a little bit of the city part where Godzilla is destroying the city and all that stuff before he gets to the islands. So, um, you know, that's what I want for uh, the sequel, and if I had to name it, I would call it Godzilla, um, Godzilla, I am, I, I really don't know for any title or anything like that, maybe Godzilla Clash of the Titans, but that sounds too similar, like the movie Clash of the Titans, which had the, eh, who cares about the Clash of the Titans, but, no, um, maybe Godzilla, uh, Godzilla on Monster Island? Nah, that sounds stupid. 
Just, I really don't know for the title, but you know, a Godzilla sequel would be very awesome. Very, very, very awesome. So, um, yeah, this is the end for this video. Remember to subscribe, like, and comment. So, yeah, that's my opinions on what I want on the Godzilla 2014 sequel. So, um, yeah, remember to check out my other videos. And, um, so, yeah, this is Michael Porter. Signing out.